that I call physical processing or heart commands and this is using the golden ratio a little bit because we're using a different brain than we normally use we have three brains that's the core of the golden ratio in the body so we have three brains the brain the heart and the gut and you can find that same setup in most of the animals and insects on the planet, brain, heart, gut. So then, of course, we have six, which is if you divide the body into right and left side, then you're going to see six show up through your joints. So shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, ankles, there's six that shows up, and then it repeats itself again in the fingers and in the feet, another set of three which leads us to nine, which is the number of wholeness and oneness in the body. So we're shifting into this mindset that these bodies mimic the universe, and that's huge. We know that as above, so below. Anything that we're looking at in the quantum, we're often able to apply into cosmic and galactic levels of reality, and the body is included in that. So when we use the heart-mind we're using a part of our body that we don't normally use every day to make some commands. And we're commanders of these bodies. We're spiritual beings that live in these 3D bodies. So we're going to use our heart field to command the body. Now, why wouldn't we use the brain? Well, the brain doesn't actually speak directly to every single cell of the body constantly. The brain directs the nervous system and a lot of the basics that keep the body going. But the brain's got its own things that it's good at. The heart, however, creates an electromagnetic field, which is constantly talking to all the cells of the body. So it makes a better command center than the brain mind does, actually. And certainly we use our brain mind to do sorts of these sorts of things, but we're mainly asking the heart mind to fulfill the job. So while the brain mind might be the hard drive that's got all the memory in it, <laughs> at least in subconscious memory, then we've got the heart field, which is more like the command center of the body. So we're going to use the heart field to speak to our bodies right now. So let's go ahead and drop into the heart together. And it can help to get your attention to shift down into the heart if you put your hand on your heart. And then if anyone listening would like to repeat after me, you can feel the effects immediately. We're looking for measurable results, right? So we're going to shift dense energy out right now. We're going to welcome something else in. And that something else is very important because many, many people come to me, many thousands of people have come to me for different sorts of readings and sessions. And one of the complaints I often hear is, I've been clearing and clearing and clearing, but nothing ever seems to actually shift. And there's a big reason why. This is something that's not really talked about very often in the public spheres, so I want to make a big statement about it here. When you clear something out of the way, you must replace it with something else. Because physics, <laughs> there is no vacuum in this universe. There is the void outside the universe, but there's no vacuum in this universe. So when we clear something like we will now, we need to command something else to take its place, preferably something light something that has a nice high quality to it. And if you don't do that, then the old stuff may just come right back or something else that wasn't your choice. So we need to be very careful about how we clear. Doing proper clearing, there's always that second step. You must replace it. That would be another sort of equation for enlightenment. 
if you're going to move something out of the way, you've got to be in charge of what replaces it. Good. So with that, let's do this heart command. We're going to do a basic easy one, and most people will um, report that they feel lighter afterwards. Some people will even report that they see brighter colors after they do this because, again, physics, if you're moving dense stuff out of the way, you're going to see light better. That's great. Good. So we're going to drop down into the body. We're commanding the heart, and we say, Dear heart, please lift any dark or dense energy, any negative programs or emotions, any trauma or physical discomfort, up, down, or out of my whole body and field now. And then take a big, deep breath. And then we'll replace the energy. Dear heart, please fill my whole body and field with the pure, clear light of enlightenment now. And then take another deep breath. Good. So the parameters of such a practice is that you clear, you replace, you make sure and tell the heart exactly what you need to move, exactly what you want to come in. You need to tell the heart when you want it done, which is why we say now. I like to add up, down, or out because that's how your human vortex energy moves, up, down, or out. And, of course, taking that deep breath. Well, that deep breath is your enter button because this is actually a machine we're living in, a biological machine, and it does have an enter button. And that enter button is the breath. It tells the vagus nerve and the parasympathetic nervous system that this new command is okay. And so many of you will have felt a bit of a shift out, clearing of your whole field, and then welcoming in that clear light, and that's going to make a brilliant, beautiful difference for you today. Use this as often as needed, but be aware, especially if it feels really good, you might want to use it a whole bunch. At one point, I did it like 12 times in a day, and I ended up passing out. So <laughs> be careful. Um, experiment. See what your edges are. But your body can only handle so much changes in one day. So I like to at least use this in the mornings and evenings. That's That way I'm shifting any density out of the way in the beginning of my day, old stuff, perhaps trauma and genetic stuff even. And then I get rid of anything that I picked up during the day because we're all a bunch of lint rollers picking up dense energy as we go along. That way you're never behind. And what will happen to you is you will have more and more experiences that are very similar to the ones I pointed out, similar to those high states of enlightenment where you're not finding yourself having reactions, you're maintaining an objective point of view, a non-attached point of view, and also being able to welcome in a lot more light. When I do this physical processing, it leads me nicely into a place where I can do meditation 